Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a very small biot midge pattern. As you can see, if you can see here, we're going to use the biot for the body and some soft hackle for the head. Winter time is midge season. If you fish the bighorn or any of the tailwater fisheries in the winter time, these small midges are the primary source of food for the trout. I do like to use a ring-eyed hook like Tiemco 101 simply because I don't lose hook gap on the smaller hooks and you can tie these from 16's down to 22's. This is a size 18 Tiemco 101. I'm going to be using Vivas 16 knot black thread. The nice thing about Vivas when you're tying these small flies is they offer the smallest diameter threads of anybody out there. We're going to start our thread about one eye length behind the eye and just wrap a nice smooth base to the end of the shank. Now the integral part of this fly is the biot. I'm using goose biot black here. You can use turkey biot. Uh, the turkey biot will give you more length but you'll also lose some of the segmentation effect. The goose biot will just let you get by. Make sure you pull them off of the strip quill. Don't cut them. Pulling them will give you the extra length. Now, I know it's going to be difficult to see here, but on the biots, there is a hard edge on the leading edge on one side, and there is a softer edge on the other. On the wings of the bird, the biots occur on the very front of the primary flight feathers, the very first, the end feathers of the wing. These biots are on the leading edge and they help to form an airfoil for that wing. Subsequently, they take as more air abuse than any other uh, feather on the bird. So they're nice and hard. If you tie them in correctly, and what I'm doing is I'm tying this in so that the hard edge is towards the rear. And I'm just catching the point of the biot on my side. Nice smooth body forward to where the thread tie-in is. Now as you wrap your biot, if you're not getting a nice ribbed edge on it, you're wrapping your biot the wrong direction. So simply untie it, reverse it 180 degrees on the hook, and tie it back in. But Hopefully you can see as this biot is wrapped that hard leading edge perks up like this and gives you a very nice ribbed effect. And the nice thing about this is that it's extremely durable. And we're simply going to tie the buyout off about an eye length back with a couple of wraps of thread. And then over the buyout tie down area, I'm using some black dry fly dubbing. This happens to be UV2. I like it because it's so fine, it doesn't clump up, and it's just a dream to work with. We don't need very much here, maybe an inch. And then we're going to wrap a bit of a head here. And then the thread ends right behind the eye. Now there's a couple of different versions. The black biot, you can use either a black hen feather or a medium dun. The one that I showed you here is with the black hen feather. I'm going to tie one with this medium dun hen. And you want a feather. It'll give you about one and a half hook gaps in width, so you can measure it against your hook. Make sure you have enough length. Then we're simply going to cut off the bottom part where the fuzzy end is. And then instead of stripping the quills from the very end, we're going to cut them like this. This gives the thread a little bit of purchase when we tie it down. So we're tying it with the curved side, the dull side up and the tip towards the hook eye. So we'll simply trap this with our thumb right behind the eye. I'll get my fingers out of the way here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wind my thread to tighten it up so it's a little bit thinner. If there's a secret with tying small flies is it's to go slow. Slow down, make every thread wrap count, 
All right, so we have one wrap directly behind the eye, a second wrap behind that, and a third wrap tight up against the thorax. Then we'll clip that butt end off. Now we only need a couple of wraps here. This is just a soft hackle that you've seen before on videos. So we'll take one turn and a second turn immediately behind it. Bring our thread up one turn to tie off the hackle and then one turn immediately behind the eye. Then you can cut off the butt of the hackle carefully and then simply sweep these fibers back with your finger. Try to get them all and make a couple of thread wraps going back towards the hook and that will stand those biots back and you can also use your whip finish to help push those back. Just carefully place your whip finish right up against those hackles. And you're finished. This little midge is very effective right in the surface film. Give it a try. Like I say, small flies are not difficult to tie. You just have to slow down, use small materials, and take your time. You can do it. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll see you next time.